welcome to part one, um, uh, where I answer these questions that I got. Um, I'll do a part two later when I get more questions, but for right now I'll just do these. So let's get going. Um, how much do you spend on DVDs? And this is from Shane Doucet. Douse, I don't know. I really don't know how to say your name. Your username. Um. Well. Let's see. It depends. Like, sometimes I spend a lot. Sometimes I don't spend any at all. It, it depends on what mood I am in. But. I don't know. What else? Don't need a, to say specific prices. But when I get stuff, it feels like I'm paying too much for them. Um, you're never really paying too much, I don't think. Well, maybe you are. Um, well, let's see. Um, check to make sure it has what you want. Like... Make sure it's widescreen version and it has enough features and stuff, first of all. Because don't pay money. Don't pay money for a full screen DVD. I mean, ugh. just don't do that. And it, let's say, let's say K Packs. I'm going to buy K Packs for $7.50. Um, uh, but you've seen that DVD like maybe a month earlier at a different store for three dollars or something and you didn't decide to buy it don't buy that dvd right yet wait till it comes around again and it goes down in price and just you know save as much money as you possibly can that's what i do but i don't buy everything right off the bat i wait and i wait and i wait till it's like the perfect time to get it i don't know how much i spend on it though on dvds though a lot you've seen my collection it's too much um, if I ever become like a billionaire, I'll give some to charity though or something. Because I want to. Okay, the next one is from YouTube, YouTube, YouTube Moses. Alright, um, who is your favorite actor? Um, for some reason it's always been Jack Nicholson because of The Shining. I really like The Shining and I thought he did a really good job in it. And he's also done very many other good films, like, um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, Easy Rider was good, I love Mars Attacks, um, I liked Hoffa, and, uh, Batman's pretty good, um, I love The Witches of Eastwick, so, there's your answer, Jack Nicholson. Um, are you going to watch the new... Halloween sequel, um, probably, just, just to do it, just to say I've seen it, um, but I can't guarantee it's gonna be anything that great, because, you know, it's a sequel and all, and do we really have to remake that? I mean, why? I mean, I'm sick of all these gosh dang remakes. I don't know. I'll watch it, though. If there was one movie that you want banned in North America that was so... shitey, Um, you know. Shitty. What one would it be? Um. Gosh. That's a good question. Um. I don't think anything. I mean, I don't want anything banned. I want everything to be able to get watched, you know. I don't want it to be banned. I don't think anything I want would want to be banned. But, I don't know, maybe something that has, maybe like, I'll say in the cut with uh, Meg Ryan and um, Kevin Bacon and What's his name? Mark Ruffalo. I did not like that movie, and it had it was just like a porno. So, 
you can get banned for all I, all I care. But, I guess that. Are you, okay, Shane Dusa again, um, alright, alright man, what's your question? Um, are you a gamer? You used to, I used to play Halo a lot, um, until I got beat at it a lot, and I just quit, and I didn't really want to play it anymore, and I found a new hobby and stuff. And I played Halo 2 a lot, and Red Faction, I used to, this is when I used to play these games. Um, I like, uh, those Grand Theft Autos, I like those. Um, San Andreas was a good one. Um, games. Um, uh, Max Payne, I would play that all the time. I was, I'll still play it today. Um, Dead to Rights, um, games like that. I only play those. I'm, I'm not gonna try out anything new. But am I a gamer? I guess, sorta. Not much anymore, though. If so, what console do you have? I don't have a console. Um, my brother has a, used to have an Xbox 360, but he got rid of it. Um, but that's, that was his. Um, we still have a PS2, but, um, it's just downstairs and we n never play it. Um, in fact, that's my brother's as well, so I can't say it's mine. But, what else? We've had a GameCube at one point, but my stepbrother, it's like, someone spelled water in it, and it was, like, doing all these weird numbers and stuff. And it was, like, doing all this weird stuff, and we couldn't figure out what the heck, how to fix it. Um, we've had a PlayStation at one point. We've had a GameCast at one point. That was pretty cool. I like that. We've, um, my dad still has an Xbox. I play that for Max Payne. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Okay, we gotta go. Um, what's your fave horror movie? Favorite horror movie? The Shining. And probably my next, my fi and probably my favorite question that I've gotta ask, that I've gotten asked, to me before, who do you th think won at the end of Freddy vs. Jason? Um, darn. Well, they both lived, technically, didn't they? Because didn't Freddy, like, laugh at the end? And Jason can I mean, I know his weakness is, um, water, but, and that's what he was dumped into in the lake at the end, so, I don't, I didn't he, I don't remember if he got out of that or not, I don't know, I don't think either of them won, because, you know, I, I good question, I don't even know, they're both too gosh dang strong, I, I would not want to face either one of them, Freddy would kill me right off the bat, so would Jason. But, you know, when they fight each other, it's just like an endless war. Because they both really can't die. I mean, alright. I don't know. Alright, I got two minutes. This one's from Broken Sword 47 Alright, you're one of my subscribers. I know who you are. Um, okay, yeah, I checked out your channel the other day see if you had any videos I don't know why um, but your question is have you ever smoked weed honestly no um, I know I look like I have but mm, no just because it ruins your life and stuff I'm not gonna try it or anything maybe in like a completely different lifetime or something I don't know maybe I would have tried it or something but Nah, I don't need that. Alright, this is from Shatter... Shatter... S-I-D-V-I-K something. <sighs> okay, whatever the hell you want. Have you ever thought of this expression? Um... 
Not really, I didn't think of that expression. Drop the whatever and just leave the hell you want. I guess I could. The hell you want. If someone says something that goes against the hell you want, it could make someone feel condemned. Sorry. Th those aren't questions, though. Alright. So I answered your questions. Um, that last guy... I guess you were trying to bring up a point, but... I never thought of the expression. I'm sorry if I made anyone feel condemned, but... You know, that's my bad. But thank you all for watching and part.